Okay, here's what you need to make a E cowbell for your rock band setup. Rock band microphone, rock band guitar hero, one of the Konami branded ones. They'll all work just the same. I prefer the ones, the newer revision with the small box, because it allows you to make a nice tidy adapter, which I covered in a different video. So I, I prefer this kind. I, I've also made these with the bigger boxed microphones, again with the guitar hero microphones. The Logitech Vantage mic. Cowbell. I like the Rhythm Tech Studio that comes with the versatile mounts. One quarter mono plug to put on the end of the cord after you cut it and make it into an adapter. Soldering iron, hot glue gun. Pipe cutter, very handy. I'll show you how I use that. Um, there's lots of different ways you could do this. This is just the way I've found to be the easiest. Channel locks just in case. Sorted pliers. Needle nose pliers. And a little air duster. Comes in really handy. And I'll show you why. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take apart the Rock Band microphone. You've already cut off the USB end and made yourself a Pro Audio adapter out of it, as I showed you in the other video. So you've got a Rock Band microphone with the end cut off now. What you do is you take the body of the mic, get yourself a handy dandy pipe cutter. These come in all different sizes and models. It doesn't matter what model or size it is. I've done. I have a, a littler one that I used to use, and I got a bigger one because it was easier. So if you have one this size, it'll work fine. Just got to be a little more careful. Take the pipe cutter, put it about there on the microphone, get a bite in it with the little wheel, turn it, tighten, turn it, tighten, turn it, turn it, tighten. Then you cut all the way through, tool down, separate the bottom part of the mic, you'll be able to pull that right off the cable now. Remember that. Now turn your attention here to the other end of the mic. You go ahead and take this knot out now if you want. Do it later. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. So now you've got this. Now you need to get rid of this end. This is sonically welded on so there's no screws to take out of anything. You just need to take it loose. Uh, as soon as I can do this barehanded, you want to twist this chrome ring here just until it pops. Once it pops, it's loose. If you can't do it barehanded, uh, a pair of channel locks works really good. Just grab it right there. Don't be careful not to crush it. You want to just grab it and then twist it and pop it loose. Get rid of that part. Then the whole works will slide up through the body. The largest part of this here this is just a weight. It's just to add weight to the microphone. This rubber part here, take this tape off. The tape just covers up the solder points. These solder points are fairly fragile, so be careful. But usually you can just grab this rubber piece here. You could use scissors too. I would just pull it apart. And then you can go ahead and gently pry the mic element, it's got a little glue on it, out of the rubber deal. That stuff's all garbage. This is what you want, the main cord and the microphone element. Okay, once I have this loose like this, what I like to do is I take the, the wires and carefully wrap them around there like so. Throw a little hot glue right there on your part, not on your finger. Pull the wire down into it. This is where a little can of air duster comes in real handy. Flip it upside down, give it a little blast, and then your hot glue is set. You don't have to sit there and wait for it to dry or put your finger in some hot hot glue. And you're good to go there. And then I go back over the fragile solder connections. Put a little blob on there.
wet your finger you can kind of tap it down a little bit make it nice and smooth make it a nice little even shield over the fragile part another little blast so now that's nice and protected now go ahead and I run a little bead of hot glue along the full length of the wire securing it to the body of the mic element here we go again and there you have it you have your mic element nice secure wire on it you can go around farther if you want doesn't really matter um, and there you have it got your mic element ready to go into your cowbell alright so now you got your cowbell here you need to uh, drill in a hole in it for your cord I like to drill in about about there All right, so you got your cowbell now. Go we'll for your cord. Make sure you don't have any sharp spots on the inside. Right. Was take the uh, little rubber piece here that, that was in the end of the microphone when you cut it apart and trim that down. It looks something like that. And you can take that, put it right in the hole you drilled in your cowbell, and you'll have a little strain relief. Nothing else. It'll it'll look much neater. Little hot glue works here. Just a little bit. And then you can go ahead and feed your cord through. From the inside first, of course. There you go. Pull that through. about there. And what I like to do is hit the inside where the cord and the little grommet device go through. A couple good squirts of hot glue. That way when a party goer decides it's time to pull on the cord or whatever, it's not just going to come right out. So now you got your mic element here and all you want to do is place it right about there and how you do that with is of course more hot glue what I do is I take a nice little puddle of it right where I want it to be watch your fingers under the cowbell because the metal will conduct that heat right through there and burn you place your mic element right on your little puddle of hot glue, press it into place and there you go and I'll go back and give it a little more hot glue you're going to be beating on this thing with a drumstick again the hot glue will flow to where you want it a little bit patient. Get a nice firm seat there. And you have a very secure mic element in your cowbell. Now all that's left to do is plug in your soldering iron.
and put your one quarter mono input on your cable. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and strip the wires on the end of our cowbell cord. Gather up all the little wires that run around the outside edge. That's your sleeve connection. Twist them into now one wire. Then strip the smaller white wire. That's your tip connection. Go ahead and trim the sleeve connector down. That wire make it a little shorter. You'll see why in a second. Hook that up into your extra hand there. Tin the wires. Apply the heat to the wire. Apply the solder to the wire. Flows right in. Do a nice tinning. And just blob the solder onto your soldering iron and then try to get it to run onto the wire. You heat the surface and then the solder just flows right into it. And you can take your quarter mono connector. Don't forget to put the housing down onto the wire before you solder the tip on. Wish I could tell you I'd never done that, but I've done it a lot of times. So unless you really like soldering and resoldering, don't forget to put that stuff on there. Insulator sleeve. Don't forget that. All right. These are uh, recycled, so they actually already have some tinning on them. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little more on. Go ahead and solder my sleeve connection to the main part here. Wait a second, let it cool. Solder my tip connection. Great. So you want a nice shiny solder. That's how you can tell that everything was hot enough, but not too hot. You got good flow, good connection, very strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and crimp down the strain relief here on the connector. If somebody tugs a little too hard on that, it's not tugging right on the soldering, it's tugging on the crimped wire. That's what it's for. Then go ahead and put that back together. This uh, little insulator sleeve. If the housing on your connector is plastic, there's a good chance you won't have that sleeve. But since this one's metal, it comes with the inner insulator. Throw that all together. And you are good to go to go play cowbell for your percussion parts instead of whacking your microphone. Go for it. Try hitting these percussion notes.